breaking updates coming in amid Russia amid Russia's intensifying offensive against Ukraine 99 buses from the Sumy region arrived in Poltava some move uh, to the Cherkasy region the rest to Lyuban and the visuals there on your screens right now of the civilians who are being evacuated repatriated from the war torn uh, country moving uh, and these are the visuals of 99 buses who are uh, arriving in this Sumy region This uh, comes as uh, Russia's offensive now enters day 21. Uh, remember, there have been four round of talks between Russia and Ukraine till now, but no breakthrough yet. And in wake of this, the latest uh, update coming in: the visuals on your screen of 99 buses who are arriving in Sumy region, carrying the civilians who seek to move to uh, the border areas, uh, primarily to the EU nations, as uh, a seeking a refuge in these European nations. And we will continue to track all the latest on that and the visuals there on your screens of the buses who are arriving in the Sumi region of Ukraine as uh, the civilians move to seek refuge in the border areas. Now, with the largest war reporting team on ground, Republic is the only global channel reporting from across Ukraine and NATO nations. In fact, uh, take a look at this uh, exclusive report filed by my colleague Piyush from Belarus. escalating between both the nations. The war has now entered into the 19th day. Uh, Zelensky is saying that uh, though, okay, he's not, he, we spoke to advisor also, very close person who works with Zelensky. He is uh, also telling us uh, uh, that, uh, he, that uh, uh, given the fact, given the condition that uh, yeah, Ukraine will not be attacked or security will be given to Ukraine, it will be very much ready not to join any bloc because remember that, that is, these are, this is one of the main demands also of um, uh, Russia where it is now asking not to go and become part of any block, be it NATO or uh, to some other uh, group. Um, remember that Russia is also demanding that uh, Crimea should be uh, should be considered by Ukraine as Russia's territory and also uh, Donbass region as the independent one. Yes, yes, and, and, and another threat comes in the disguise of uh, in, in the disguise of uh, some kind of uh, 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 press statement from Russia. That is the Volny region, Volny Oblast. They are talking of uh, as per Russia, Ukraine is creating tension. Ukraine is creating provocation in the Volny region. This Volny region is very much important. It, it just fall in, in, a, in a point where Poland, Ukraine and Belarusian border meets. So anything in uh, Volny region it will be enough will be enough to uh, create provocation to uh, nato 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 members as poland is a very uh, strong nato member country also anirban is uh, telling us uh, uh, we will continue to show these pictures uh, uh, from uh, this this from this border area we are at the last village of uh, uh, gomel and uh, you can see the deserted looks also not enough people are coming out not enough we are not even seeing even one person here uh, anirban uh, so uh, we, we at one side we are seeing the russian uh, column move Moving here on the other side, this movement is also taking place over the Belarusian soil. We do not know yet that if it is Russian jet or the Belarusian jet, but on the ground, on the roads, on the highway, we are definitely seeing the column of Russian army moving from either to this side or going from this side towards the yes. border areas. 